Losing almost 58 pounds a month is totally possible. Just ask John Brower Minock. He dropped over 900 pounds in just 16 months. I mean, seriously, how did he even move before? Anti-gravity boots or something? Or remember those The Biggest Loser contestants who slimmed down by over 100 pounds in a few months? So, what's the secret sauce behind rapid transformations? Well, often, that's where detox diets come in. Like a slick salesperson promising you the moon, these juices and smoothies promise to make your ex's jaw drop, flush out toxins, boost your energy, melt away pounds, give you a Hollywood glow, and basically make you a Kardashian without the surgeries. Sounds like a dream, right? Sure, on a detox diet, you might see the scale drop faster than my self-esteem when I attempt TikTok dances, but let's not pop the champagne just yet. When you drastically cut calories, your body starts using stored glycogen. Glycogen is essentially your body's secret stash of energy stored in your liver and muscles when you eat carbs like pizza or cookies. It's a backup fuel tank for quick energy boosts packed with water. So as you burn through glycogen, you're shedding water weight. Just so you know, we're packing around 1.3 pounds of glycogen tied to 4 pounds of water. That's over 5 pounds of water weight. Now, let's say you stick with your low-calorie diet until your glycogen reserves are as empty as your kids' promises to defrost the chicken. That's when your body starts burning fat. Your liver breaks down fats, creating ketones for energy, a state called ketosis. Sounds like a win, right? Well, except your body's screaming for vitamins, minerals, and proteins. This can lead to feeling like a deflated balloon, to muscle loss, and a wimpy immune system. Not exactly the youth elixir we're sold. And don't forget that most of these detox bottles have enough laxatives to launch you into orbit. Sure, they keep things moving in your digestive tract, but you'll be drier than SpongeBob in Sandy's dome with a messed up electrolyte balance. Electrolytes are minerals like sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium that carry tiny electric charges to help regulate muscle function, nerve signals, and hydration levels. Lose too many and you'll have muscle cramps and heart palpitations. So. How do you detox if those smoothies are just putting on a healthy mask? Your body's got you covered. Your liver, kidneys, lungs, and skin are on duty 24-7, detoxifying every inch of your body. Just give them a break from the junk food and booze and let them do their thing. But hey, don't toss those green juices just yet. Increasing your fiber intake with fruits and veggies can actually boost your digestion and gut health. But you don't need to survive on kale smoothies to get these benefits. Feeling like a million bucks is just a salad away. Just add some greens to your balanced meals. Going too hard on the calorie cutting can slow your metabolism, making it a Herculean task to keep the weight off long term. Your body becomes super efficient at storing calories, preparing for the next crash diet. So let's break it down with a pros and cons list. On the bright side, detox diets can help you cut out processed foods and focus on healthier eating habits. Quick weight loss can be a killer motivator, and all that extra fiber can keep your gut singing. Plus, it might give you a mental reset, making you feel like you're ready to take on the world with new, healthier habits. But don't ignore the downsides. Detox diets can lead to nutrient gaps, dehydration, and electrolyte imbalances, especially if you go to extremes. Most of that weight loss is just water and muscle, not the stubborn fat you want to lose. And any feel-good vibes are probably from cutting out junk food, not the detox magic. Plus, long-term calorie restriction can wreck your metabolism, making it a nightmare to keep the weight off down the line. As for that 58-pound-per-month miracle weight loss, it's legit, especially under the watchful eye of doctors and a super strict diet. But, and I know this might sting, if you're aiming for a healthy weight and want to keep it forever, remember that it's a marathon, not a sprint. So treat your body like the temple it is, not like the one you abandoned in Chick-fil-A on Tuesday.